We have some Finding Nemo submarine voyage news today. We got a reopening date. We have some new additions to the lagoon. There's a lot to talk about today. Up next. Hey, everybody. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard to another episode of Orange Grove 55. Today, we're going to talk about the submarine lagoon, the attraction, all that good stuff. There were some news dropped today by Disney in regards to this ride. So let's go ahead and break it down here, shall we? All right. So it says here, take a look inside the lagoon of Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage reopening on July 25. Okay, so that's the first bit of news. We actually got a reopening date for the submarine voyage july 25th so that's coming up just a few weeks the submarine voyage will reopen okay now they've been doing a lot of work on the lagoon okay we've been watching this kind of progress for months now and it looks absolutely gorgeous you look at the colors and how vibrant everything looks again it looks absolutely incredible okay now it says here uh, revitalizing the attraction with more coral, new paint, fresh kelp, and seaweed, as well as enhanced special effects and lighting. So quite a bit went into this, uh, you know, renovation. It says here, plus when the attraction returns for our guests, they can wave to a new friend from Pixar's Finding Dory, everyone's favorite septipus. Ah, that's a new one. I, I don't even know what a septipus is. <laughs> Uh, Hank. So Hank is officially now sitting in the lagoon. Now here he is. Now I have to say, and a lot of fans are kind of talking crap about this figure because it's static and I'll get into that in a second, but I actually really, really like this. I, I think, I think it's a beautiful figure. I think Hank is beautiful. The way they painted him, how vibrant he looks, looks absolutely incredible. I think it's a great addition to the lagoon sitting out there. I'm um, kind of across from the from the seagulls. I think this is a fantastic addition to the lagoon and really surprising. Really, really surprising. Disney has shown to kind of throw curveballs our way. Two things that we thought as fans were kind of like um, on the chopping block for the longest time was Mickey's Toontown and the Submarine Lagoon. And both of these attractions or both of these well, attraction and land, uh, not only have they survived, but Disney has almost like doubled down on these things. You know, Mickey, uh, Mickey's Toontown is getting a, a, a reimagining, a, a major uh, reimagining, a freshening up and a new e-ticket. And now Submarine Lagoon is not only coming back, but it's coming back with um, special effects, new lighting, and this gorgeous new Hank figure. Okay, this is really, really fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and link this down below so you guys can check that out on your own. Now, I want to kind of address a couple things here. A lot of fans have been kind of messaging me saying, well, since the since Disney's kind of putting money into the sub submarine voyage and and they're reopening it, this must mean that any new Tomorrowland is dead in the water. No pun intended. Um, and I'm, I'm here to say that's not necessarily true. It, it, that, that's kind of like an all or nothing kind of mentality here. Like people are assuming that just because the, the submarine voyage is coming back, that automatically means that there can't be a new Tomorrowland because they just have to get rid of the submarines if they're going to do a new Tomorrowland. See what I'm saying? That's not exactly the case. You can have a new Tomorrowland and keep the subs. Both of those things can be true. So just because we're getting this, this kind of sprucing up of the submarine voyage doesn't necessarily mean a new Tomorrowland is completely dead. Now, I'm not saying I'm not here to say that we're going to guarantee I'm not, like I'm predicting a new Tomorrowland. I don't really know. But just because the, the refreshing this attraction doesn't guarantee that we won't is all I'm saying. Now, another thing that I really want to address here is the static figure. Okay, the static figure. A lot of fans are kind of complaining about this static figure, and they're kind of giving, I, I think, it kind of, kind of, kind of giving it a, I don't know, they're a little harsh on it. Um, you know, why couldn't it be an animatronic? I've seen this so much on social media already. Why couldn't it be an animatronic? Why couldn't it move? And well, in an ideal world, yes, I would love it to be an animatronic with blinking eyes and tentacles and all that good stuff. But a static figure isn't the end of the world. You know, it's not the end of the world. Look, 
I constantly hear about Disney's competition and how Disney's competition universal is doing it right. You know, they built the most innovative theme park of all time with islands of adventure, right? Right. The most innovative thing, technically advanced Disney's on their heels. Well, I mean, this, this park that everyone talks about, it has quite a few static figures. <laughs> okay. I mean, this isn't even half of them. You can go through Island Adventure and Universal Studios Hollywood and Orlando, and you can find dozens of these figures all over the place. The, the newest attraction, Velocicoaster, which is highly, highly praised by fans as, as a great addition, has a ton of static figures. I don't think they have any real animatronics from what I understand. It's all these kind of like statues kind of around the track. So... <laughs> I, I get it. Okay. An animatronic octopus would have been the best choice in an ideal world. But at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. It, it's, 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 it, it's far enough from like where people are standing on the lagoon's edge where it it's fine. It's cool. You know, and he's vibrant. He looks great. I have no problem with it. Uh, even really, really innovative companies like universal, right? Um, are constantly doing these static figures. It seems like something that the industry is kind of doing right now. And uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I don't think Disney is necessarily any cheaper than Universal. I mean, Universal does it a whole lot more. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. But um, overall, I'm really, really happy with um, with Hank. I think he looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I hope they maintain him. I hope that because he's out there in the lagoon in the sun and the elements all day long, um, that they keep him painted and, 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 and up kept really nicely because right now he looks absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about Hank? What do you think about all these kind of new things uh that was that were announced for the submarine voyage in terms of like new special effects new lighting the beautiful new paint jobs what are your thoughts on that uh what are your thoughts on uh the submarine voyage returning and what that means for new tomorrowland i would love to hear your thoughts on that i want to thank you guys and gals for watching seriously everyone who watches my videos shares my videos likes my videos it means the world to us absolutely means the world to us it, it it's everything so thank you thank you thank you comment down below with all your opinions we welcome all opinions here whether you agree or disagree we welcome everybody you have a home here on og 55 and as always have a wonderful wonderful day <laughs>